up, everybody? John Henry, both sides of the conversation. Today, we are out here in community in San Francisco for the Martin Luther King celebration at the War Memorial Theater at the Hearst Theater here in San Francisco. This weekend is very important for community. We talk about social justice, the civil rights movement, things that's taking place in this country. On this special weekend, so many events happening on the Freedom Train is coming here to San Francisco. We'll be marching to Yerba Reina Gardens. It's about uplifting the people. This year, we will change the narrative. We'll keep uplifting the people in the name of Dr. King. This is what it's about. Tonight, uh, Layla Hathaway is going to do a phenomenal performance for community. It's great to celebrate the arts, the community, and what's going on when you talk about how we impact community, bringing black joy here to San Francisco. Our lovely mayor is here. Amazing community is here. And we're going to continue to celebrate and uplift the people, both sides of the conversation. You know what it's about. All power to the people as we continue to march forward on this weekend with Dr. King. Shepherd, I'm here out here celebrating Martin Luther King's birthday. He was um, absolutely amazing. Um, I'm sorry that his life was taken um, unjustly and too soon. I'm here to um, listen to Layla Hathaway and other singers that are here. They got some choir singing. I don't know who all up in there singing, but I know it's going to be worthy. I know it's going to be worthy. I know it's going to be an enjoyable. I know it's going to be a blessing to my soul. And I'm just thankful that I can come out here and celebrate and acknowledge the King. You know, for all that he has done, given, and you know what? That he continues to do, because our ancestors are always with us. All right. Partners, 
thank you for what you do to this day, but also thank you for the ancestors, thank you for the people in the past, thank you for the blood, sweat, and tears that have come to help us be able to be in this place and in this space at this point in time. Thank you all so very much for being here. Then Barack Obama said, you know, and then built on the idea that um, MLK Day is not a day off, it's a day on. Yeah. Um, London Breed like, took that very seriously work to organize buses and cleanups and volunteer days and all sorts of things that organized and orchestrated hundreds of people across the city that were dispatched to go and do amazing work. And she continues today to really be an advocate for um, service learning projects, for us being able to help each other to engage and to make a difference. And I just want to thank her so much for being here tonight, but also for her consistent, continuous support to elevate and talk about social justice in a very real and tangible way. Thank you, Mayor. moment to pause and reflect on the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King has always been something that I have appreciated. Growing up in this city, there used to be so many celebrations, and our community would come together on a regular basis. I remember Reverend Cecil Williams leading the charge, and the march, and the people would show up from all over the Bay Area, and we would descend on Civic Center, and there would be speeches, and performances, and music, kids, and families, and seniors, and wheelchairs, and everyone came from all over for one purpose. The purpose of reminding ourselves of what Dr. King stood for, and how he decided that it was important for him to put his life on the line to support black people in this country and to engage in civil disobedience, to engage in using love as a weapon of peace to bring us together. And it was so important to me when I worked in the community when Reverend Williams decided to retire and we saw a bit of a void. It was what happened. We People are used to coming to San Francisco for this purpose. And over the years, with all the things we've tried to do, we tried to continue to be that place where people would take the train and exit and, and march and, and go to your Buena and, and do other things. And when we introduced the Dream Keeper Initiative in San Francisco, a commitment to give $60 million a year, for black people, decided by black people, to invest in businesses and home ownership opportunities and programs and things that matter to our community, it was only appropriate that we invest in Dr. Martin Luther King Day as a way to bring people together, to remind us of why we are here, and yes, incremental change and there are shoulders that we stand on and why we are able to be here today and to be advocates. And for me, someone like me to be mayor is what we... Is what people fought for is for opportunity, for us to have opportunity like anybody else. For us to stand on these stages, for us to run these cities in this country like anybody else. We celebrate how far we've come, but always never letting our foot off the gas, knowing that there is so much work still to be done. Hi, I'm San Francisco Mayor London Breed, and we are here at the War Memorial Building at the Herbst Theater, celebrating Dr. Martin Luther King and his extraordinary legacy. This event is so important tonight, especially over the years, way back in the day in like the 80s and the 90s, Glide under the leadership of Reverend Cecil Williams used to host some incredible events to celebrate Dr. King Day, and it really brought community together, and today is exactly what we are trying 
trying to do, bring community together, celebrate joy, celebrate love, celebrate just how far we've come, and also to be reminded that there is still work to be done. So thank you all so much for joining us in a celebration of a legendary hero in our world, Dr. Martin Luther King. I don't know if you guys have heard, but black boys, black boys be everything. Yep. Black boys be everything to everybody. Black boys be everything to everybody but themselves. Right. And I know because black boys be me. Yep. Black boys be great. Black boys be quiet. Because tired is different. Tired doesn't always mean sleepy. Tired could also mean tired of getting up, tired of moving forward, tired of losing. And you know that your man does not take losing well. And you know that your father does not take losing well. And you know that your brother does not take losing well. Do you know that your son does not take losing well? So if you understand, understand that, that we run, run this country because black men are being used as batteries, batteries package exposed and exploited to run this country, jump, dance, and dunk for this country, country basically being ran, ran by this country like batteries. batteries. My brothers who are copper tone get used like copper tops, harassed when the copper stops, get a felony and they snatch us off our blocks. 100,000 black men are in and out of prison daily. I'm Virginia P. Marshall, a longtime educator and here in this school district in San Francisco. I'm I'm very pleased to be here tonight for this Dr. King um, event. Uh, Dr. King means a lot to me. Every Dr. King birthday, I always say doctor, because when you are on your PhD at 16, you should be called Dr. King. So whenever news people say M.O. King or uh, Martin Luther King, I go like, no, Dr. King. So you'll find me rain or shine marching on Monday. If it rains, I hope not, because Dr. King gave his life for us. So we have to teach our young people, especially the legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, the marches, what the marches meant, how we brought the children, how those uh, bulldogs did not uh, stop the children from marching for us and giving us our rights. So for us in 2024, we shouldn't sit at the back of the bus. We should not get D's and L's in schools. When we see a pregnant woman or an elderly person get on the muni bus, we should give them, let them sit down. So those kinds of things I respect. And then here in San Francisco, we want to always support our African-American mayor, someone who grew up in public housing, raised by her grandmother. So that is a true success story. So this is election year, so we want to encourage everyone to come out and vote and to get her back reelected and to support her. And in San Francisco, there is a great need for housing, especially for our young people people because this is the most expensive city, one of the most expensive cities to live in the whole wide world. So we need to have housing for our young people. No one should be sleeping in their car or unhoused, especially during these cold temperatures. And everyone needs to have a job because I think everyone wants to work and want to be able to take care of themselves. That, uh, to me, that will continue Dr. King's legacy. And I'm looking forward to hearing Layla Hathaway tonight. Yay! As you speak your truths. I said, birds flying high, sun in the sky, breeze drifting on by. It's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me. Yeah, it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life. Ooh. was the bomb, these two brothers that did, just did poetry about black boys, you know, and black men. They were beautifully deep. <laughs> That's the only way I could say it. It was beautiful though. I hope they get their Grammy, because they're Grammy nominated.